As spring takes hold and the days grow longer, the forest bursts into life. Many of the plants in these unique conifer and fern forests have specially adapted to lie dormant during the dark of winter and only with the spring light do they start to photosynthesize again. For the clan, it is also a time of feverish activity. Having mated with the first spring sunrise, they are now building nests. It is a team effort, with the dominant pair building in the centre and other subordinate animals working around them. Many of these piles of leaves will never hold eggs, but act as decoys to help protect the main nest. But no matter how busy these little dinosaurs are, they always have to remain alert to danger. A polar allosaur a summer visitor from warmer lands to the north. He is a one-ton ambush predator. The Allosaur is the largest and fiercest killer in the forest, but he was spotted early enough by the sentry, and as the clan melt into the undergrowth, he is no match for their speed and agility. Spring across the polar forests brings the movement of many animals, in the sky, lines of pterosaurs head south for their summer roosts. And among the trees there is the echo of unfamiliar sounds. The largest of all the summer migrants is coming to the forest. These unusual calls herald the arrival of huge herds of Mutabarasaurus from the north. For the last two months they have been migrating 800 kilometers down the coast of Australia, following the sun to the south. These dinosaurs move towards the pole every year to strip the lush vegetation and find secure sites to lay their eggs. The herds have a major impact on the forest. Each massive adult weighs about three tons and can pluck food from branches several meters off the ground. While feeding, the dinosaurs keep in touch using their specially adapted noses to produce a range of trumpeting calls. As the forest becomes more crowded, the clan's nests need constant attention. The lead female treats her pile of rotting leaves like an incubator and uses her sensitive beak to monitor the temperature. Then she adds and removes vegetation to keep the eggs at about 30 degrees centigrade. Already the baby Lielinosaura can be heard inside responding to their mother's clicks. The nests also have to be protected round the clock Fur-coated mammals thrive in these Antarctic forests, and some are easily large enough to steal a dinosaur egg. But the Lielinosaura has an unusual defence. It is enough to see off this egg thief. 
but the little dinosaur knows there will be others. The Mataburasaurus continue to arrive on the floodplains and are watched from the forest edges by hungry eyes. The Allosaur is testing the herd, probing for sick or old animals. These herbivores are slow, but find safety in size and numbers. The Allosaur is no match for a healthy bull, Mataburasaurus, and he is forced to back down. <laughs> 